you believe I paid real money for that? Actual money for that. Man, I wish they were real memories. If you guys want to win a brand new complete scooter, click the card above my head just there and go back to yesterday's video where you can watch the top 10 and try to guess the code correctly to win your chance, win your chance, to get a chance to win a brand new complete scooter. But aside from that, it's scoot review, bitch. But behind closed doors, I'm a fool for your love. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody. It is your man's here. SB Finna Boy. Sean Cardwell, everybody. Thank you for that. I've been sat here in front of these studio lights for less than 60 seconds, and I'm already sweating like a pig. So I'm gonna have to make this episode quick. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you smash that like button down below. Make sure you are subscribed with notifications on for a brand new video every single day. And with that being said, let's get right into the scootering news. The first clip of the day today comes from Austin Kunz and Andrew Collins with this synchronized box jump trick. Roll it. Bam, bam. Holy moly, that was so weird. Hey, that's a really nice caption you got there. Where'd you get it? Jonathan Devrind, AKA John Dev is back on that grind. Uh, literally. Board slider down route to Manny, feeble, hard 360 dirty basket. Mmm, that really was dirty. The third and final clip of the day comes from Jason Byron with this, uh, something. Bright twist deck grab to late bright. Oh my god! Our previous winner of clip of the day was Benny Truscott with his full whip finger whip flat ground. If you guys want to vote on your favorite clip of the day, make sure you click the card up beside my head there and vote for your favorite rider. Here's a quick recap of all three of the clips. Our previous stack of the day was taken out by Brandon Giobli with this nutcracker on the down rail. Let's see what everybody else has in store today. The first stack of the day today comes from Corey Griffiths with a nice, a nice nutcracker. Roll it. That's a big ass row. You got this, Corey. Oh, oh, maybe, maybe not. Uh, you want me to call the, the ambulance? We're posting backflip bales on the daily out here. The next clip comes from Jay Michael and, uh, this one looked painful. Roll it. <laughs> the next stack comes from Aiden McGoldrick, and this man really needs to invest in a helmet. Oh, Jesus Christ, oh my God. This is the Although, I will still have to admit that backflips are definitely still the most deadly trick. The next one comes from Brody Terrace. Keep them coming, guys. Keep them coming. You guys know the drill. It's time to vote for your favorite stack of the day, and we will announce the winner in the next episode of Scoot Review. Here's a quick recap of all four of the stacks that we've seen today. Stack of the Day is my favorite segment. Our first news topic on today's show, Boris Germain is finally dropping a video part from throughout the year in regards to his main sponsor, Flavor Scooters. He's announced this on Instagram and it is suspected that he'll be promoting his upcoming signature deck along with the animal fork that I actually happen to be riding. Great fork. Great fork. Flavor has great products and great riders, so there's no doubt in my mind that this is going to be a really good video to watch. Root Industries team manager Sean Williams has spotted a car wreckage in Croydon, Melbourne. He posted this video on his Facebook page where it shows a car that has actually run into a parked trailer. What's happening? Australia is a wild place. The Blunt team is going on tour. Sorry, hang on. Why is Blunt the only team that goes on tour? Because they care about their riders. What's that? I said they care. Yeah, no, I know. Mad Gear, where's all your edits? Apex, anyone, please? Someone upload some content. I need more things to report on, please. The Blunt VRP tour will have Charles Bedell and Flavio Pazenti traveling from Belgium to France via the Netherlands. If you live in any of these areas, make sure you bless yourself by watching these guys 
do some scootering. San Diego's biggest skate park has recently been opened. Linda Vista is now being rated by locals as the best skate park in California. Could this be true? I have to say by the pictures that I've seen of this skate park, it looks absolutely amazing. It features a huge street plaza, three bowl sections, and even a full pipe. I will be heading to San Diego, California in March of next year, so you guys will definitely see some vlogs of me visiting this skate park because it looks f***ing fantastic. The Vault Pro Scooters has made an addition to their Velocity line with the new Velocity headset. It comes now in a black color and a neochrome color for all you neochrome fanboys. Woo! But that's not all. The Vault Pro Scooters is now selling the cheapest titanium T-bar on the market. For only $160 US, you can take home a pair of titanium T-bars that measure 27 inches high by 24 inches right ride wide what $160 well guess what you can get it $16 cheaper than that if you use the code B-O-O-T-E-R that's booted for 10% off anything on the website yeah the vault now also stocks the brand new colorways in the tilt sculpted series including purple blue red and what's the last one gold that's it and again if you guys are still looking for Christmas presents for your parents to get for you make sure you send them to the vaultproscooters.com and make sure they use that discount code. Speaking of titanium bars, Mad Gear Pro Rider Charlie Dyson has been showing off some rumored to be titanium Mad Gear bars. They look like Apex Bowl bars. He's been posting multiple pictures on his Instagram this week showing off these raw handlebars that I suspect to be titanium. Mad Gear has not yet announced anything in regards to a titanium product and nobody knows at this point what sort of handlebars these are. I could be wrong, but we will keep you up to date on this story as it develops. Dunk Easy had a video deleted from his YouTube channel this past week, he had the following to say on the subject that he posted on his Instagram story. No, I knew this day would come. They deleted my fake Hungry Jacks bad employee prank V2 Savage edition. No, it's been taken from me. Guys, if anyone has this video, DM me, please. I don't actually have it on my computer because I deleted it for storage, so please DM me. There really just seems to be no way around this. I can't re-upload it or anything. Try click on it, doesn't even work, just comes up. This video has been removed for violating YouTube terms and services. So guys, if you have this video, please message me. Essentially, his Hungry Jack's prank video was removed for violating copyright or terms of service on YouTube. I personally would advise Duncan to not... Okay, look, I know his name's not Duncan, all right? It's Matthew Duncanson. Calm down. It's just funny when I call him Duncan because everyone gets mad. Personally, I would advise Matthew to not re-upload the video because you do not want to get a strike on your YouTube channel and... uh They'll do it to you. They, they really will. They won't hesitate. In slightly related news, Sean Desi, aka Kai Saunders, has reacted to the video that Dunk Easy made about Jack Doubt. In the video, he claims that vlogging has supposedly split up the crew in the Sydney scootering scene. This is what he had to say on the subject. Why Jack Dorf does not ride with me? I just decided to talk about it right now because I actually have a few things to say about the topic. Dunk Easy and Jack Dorf, they don't ride, they don't talk or anything, but Dunk Easy actually put out a video on Jack Dorf. Pretty much going to be telling you my side of the story of why I don't ride with Jack Dorf. As you guys know, Wes is Jack Dorf's filmer, and they are basically always out in the city every day making those videos that they have been making. I'm not hating on what he's doing, not hating on anything that he's doing. I just personally am not down with it. If I were to go ride with Jack Dorf in the city and I were to meet up with him with Wes and all that, we would go riding, but they would they would be like so focused on making their video that it would honestly feel like I'm not even like there almost. Like so honestly that's why vlogging has completely ruined the Sydney scene. It has split up friends. It just makes people really forget how important friends are. I haven't seen Wes and Jack for so long. I find it for me, I don't really like Jack because he did just come in and ruin the whole thing, like made everyone start vlogging and stuff. Now let me just pause it there for a sec. Sorry, Dunky Easy, I just have to pause it there. I just have to add in my little bit real quick. So as you can tell, I completely agree with that, honestly. Like, that's why vlogging is just, has, it, it, it just and has split up the Sydney scene completely. What do you guys think about this situation? Do you think Jack has changed too much in order for anyone to hang out with him? Or do you think that the other guys are simply just overreacting? to the topic. But let me know your comments down in the comment section below. And that is pretty much it for the news today, guys. So don't forget to follow me on Twitter. You can also follow me on Instagram. Subscribe to the channel that you're watching right now. Every single video is just dank, you know, full of great memes and such. The notification shout out goes to this person right here. <laughs> bye bye. You can also join the Facebook group, Scoot Review, and submit clips for Clip of the Day, Stack of the Day, and so on and so forth. And uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. That is it for the video today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. It's been your boy, Finna SB, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out. Have an amazing day. Later.
But behind closed doors, I'm a fool for your love So I thought I would slap this little segment on the end for you guys. I just wanted to let you know what's going to be happening this week. I'm not sure if I'll be uploading every single day this week because I am moving houses tomorrow and it's going to be absolutely dank. I already have a lot of my stuff packed up and ready to go, but I will be vlogging tomorrow as I move all my stuff into my new apartment. And I just wanted to thank you guys so much for giving me the opportunity to be successful on YouTube and helping me get into this new lifestyle with my new apartment and everything like that. So big, big ups to you. Thank you so much. Also, uh, I'm also having another flash sale on my website. So if you guys want to cop uh, some gear in the link in the description, yeah, you already know what to do. Uh, you can use the code that's on screen and you'll get a bigger discount on anything that you order. There's no limitation. There's no, you know, maximum that you can get. There's no minimum, et cetera, et cetera. But that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.